Hi everyone, it's Darlene. Welcome to this week's card. Today's card is pretty clean. It's got a lot of white space in it. Um, these are the three products, the main products I'm going to be using today. The first is a stencil by Simon Says Stamp called Stars and Dots. It's kind of a half size. Um, I've got this Some Odd Girl Hipster Pets. I love the pets in this stamp set. I'm going to be using them a lot in the future, I know. Um, and then of course the Stripe Greetings, which I really love. I'm using the URNF from this Simon Says Stamp set. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a piece of Nina Solar White cardstock and some embossing paste. Uh, and this is just a four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece of cardstock. And I'm going to hold my stencil in place with some post-its. I'm going to put half of the sticky part on the stencil and half on the paper so that it stays in place. Now when you apply your embossing paste, um, the easiest way to do that is to use the back. And I'm showing you the back here of the spatula. Um, it's just much easier to spread that way. So put a bunch on the back and then you're just going to kind of wipe it across. And um, it's kind of fun. It's just kind of like spreading peanut butter, I guess, across your stencil. And for this particular application, I'm trying to not to have any lines in it, so I'm making it really smooth. So once I get that spread across, I'm going to take my post-its off really carefully because I don't want it to smudge or smear. And then I'm going to lift up the stencil straight up. You want to you want to be careful not to, you know, make it move toward the side because that might mess up your embossing paste. Anyway, I usually clean my um, supplies immediately afterwards. So that's what I just did. And now I've got my ultra thick uh, embossing enamel and I'm showing you here. It's kind of like granular like sugar. And I'm going to put it on my embossing paste while it's still wet. And then I'm going to let it dry for, I don't know, like an hour or something like that. And I use a stipple brush to get any pieces that, that went astray. Okay, so now I'm going to work on my fox. I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black Ink because I'm going to be using Copics. And sometimes when I stamp the first time using Memento, it doesn't come out that great. But then as soon as I stamp it again, it comes out great. So um, I ended up stamping it twice. Uh, so here I am coloring my fox. And I started off with my lightest color, which is the YR00, and I created my highlight. Now I'm um, coloring with the darkest, which is YR18. And I'm kind of flicking my pen upward. So I flip my paper over so that I'm always going in the upper direction just because I find it easier to go up than down. And um, it's kind of making it look kind of like a fur sort of texture. And then uh, once I have the darkest down, then I come in with the medium. And I'm kind of starting at the bottom, maybe a little bit further up uh, where that dark area is. And um, kind of extending it more toward that light highlight area that I did first. And then the last step is to take that original color, which was my lightest, and just fill in the middle. And it's just, it, that was pretty simple, just a couple of steps there. Um, okay, so now I'm just going to finish this up here. I'm using just the two darker colors on the ears. And then for the rest of its body, I'm just going to use the two colors, the YR18 and that medium one, which is the YR12. And my shadow is coming from the, or my light, I'm sorry, is coming from the right. So all my shadow areas are going to be on the left, which is why I started with the darkest on the left side of all the different pieces. And you'll notice that I do this section by section. Um, that way the ink stays pretty wet and it blends uh, a lot nicer when it's uh, still wet. So when I move to the tail is when I'm going to start back in with my highlight with that light color. And I'm going to do this the same way I did the head, which is the highlight in the middle. And then I'm using my darkest on the outside and I'm flicking it upward toward that highlight area. And then I'm going to come in with my medium color and go over the darkest and into the white toward the light and then fill it in with the lightest. Now for the ears, I used E02 and R02. So I wanted it to be a little pinkish, and that's why I added the R02. Um, and then I wanted it to be just a little lighter, so I took my zero right here, as you can see, and I pulled some color out, and I really like the way it came out. Um, and for his nose, I, I used the R02 and then blended it with the zero. So for the fur, the fur is white, and, but you still have some shadow areas. So I took a W1, which is a really light grayish color, and I added just a few highlights here and there, and then I blended it with the zero. And so that sort of blends it from the W1 into the white area. 
And that's all I'm going to do on this fox. So I'm going to cut him out. And I'm going to start working on the hills. So I'm using this Avery L Custom Panels, which I used last week actually. And I'm going to put it right there on the bottom. I'm going to go across, across the short side of the card. I'm going to hold it in place with some masking tape and run it through my Sizzix. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another set of hills, but rather than waste paper or have to cut again, I'm just going to trim it. And that way I have the hills kind of in the opposite direction. And then I'm going to layer them that way. And I'm using Simon Says Stamp Ink. I'm using two different greens. One is called Green Leaf and one is Green Apple. I think that's right. I'll have to put it on my blog. And uh, that way I kind of get two different shades for my hills. And I like this ink because uh, it goes on similar to the Hero Art Shadow ink in that it all blends out into one nice textured layer of color. And so you don't get a lot of dark and light areas. It's all very even. So once I get that done, I'm going to work on my panel that has the rounded edge. And you know I like everything to be exact, so I'm measuring 5 eighths of an inch on each side. And all I'm doing here is just rounding the side of my card. And um, that way I can make sure that my edges hit at 5 eighths of an inch and I know that my curve is going to be straight. I'm going to hold that in place with some masking tape and run it through the Sizzix. Now when I come back, I'm going to shorten it up a little bit. I'm going to make it two and a quarter inches and just trim it off. That way I have as many stars showing as I can. Now I'm going to take my green pieces and sort of play with it a little bit to figure out where I want my fox to sit. And then I'm going to mark it and I'm going to adhere them. Now once I get it down on my white piece, I'm just going to take a scissor and hand cut it, all the excess on the edges and then I'll place my other piece. And I probably made them a little thicker than I needed to, but I just wanted to make sure it wasn't too short because you can always cut it off, but you can't add more. So I'm just going to cut that off again. All right, now I'm going to work on my sentiment and I wanted it to be on two lines. So I'm going to take a piece of scratch paper. I'm going to cover up part of it and ink up one side. I'll stamp it down and then I'm going to clean it really well. And you can see I kind of press it against some paper to make sure that I get all that ink off because I don't need another impression next to that. And I cover up the other side and ink up the last word and then stamp it right there underneath. Now these speech bubbles are by Paper Smooches called He Said, She Said. And I'm using some VersaFine black ink for these because I love how this ink works with clear stamps. You get a really nice clear impression. And I'm going to cut this out. Alright, now that my stars have dried a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and heat it. And it, it does take quite a while for this uh, ultra thick embossing enamel to heat up and set. Um, it kind of bubbles up into little bubbles at first, but you need to hold the heat gun on there and it will even out and get really smooth into a nice shiny finish. And now I'm going to take my panel and use some dimensionals, just some foam adhesive by Stampin' Up! so it pops up on the card. And then I'm going to use the dimensional, dimensionals also on my fox. Now I thought about adding some blue to the sky, but I just really like the way the fox with the bright, you know, orangey colors looked against the white background. So I just left it white. Now these little bubbles are part of the he said, she said, where the speech bubbles were from, the same stamp set. And um, I'm just going to adhere that with some tape runner. I noticed it was kind of popping off a little bit, so I just put some Tombow glue right there underneath it to hold it in place. And then finally, I'm just going to adhere this panel to a folded four and a quarter by five and a half inch folded piece of Nina Solar White cardstock. And that's it. So it's pretty clean and simple. Um, it wasn't too hard to do. And um, I think it came out really cute. I just love these hipster pets. So stay tuned because I'm going to be using them again. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.